covering most of the topics like basic settings, basic player card knowledge, player selections to formation selections. And now it comes to the main part of the game. The gameplay part. From today, I'll make gameplay guides of passing, shooting, defending, joystick movements, dribbling and finishing. I'll try to explain all the things you need to master. So in today's video let's learn the basic gameplay guide of passing. Always choose possession game playstyle because that playstyle is completely based on passing. If you want to learn passing and master it, then this playstyle is best for you. Now, the first point is, how to pass successfully. There is no rocket science in passing. You just need to focus on the field and try to perform a pass towards a player who can receive that pass without any interception or tackle from your opponent. Yes, this will not happen every time. Sometimes you need to pass in critical conditions, but let's ignore that because I'll make a prose series soon where you will learn difficulties mostly. Now, for your help, passing depends on two things, first is how your player act while performing a pass. And second is, how fast you can read the field situation and apply the techniques to perform a pass. The second point is, how to create openings. To pass your player without being intercepted, you need to create openings for your own players to perform a pass or a through ball. But you can ignore through passing as you are new to this game, try to play passes only to master passing techniques better. Now, to create an opening, perform quick one-touch pass. Means just do not hold the ball longer, as soon as your player receives a ball, perform another pass towards next possible player and go on. With this, mostly your opponent will rush towards your players, and if you are continuously passing the ball, then you can create so many holes in between your opponent's players to create openings and attack from that area. The third point is, how to build up by passing. Well, in gameplay, joystick movements are the most important thing to play better. I'll make joystick guides soon, but for now, you need to do one more thing, and that is build up by passing. If you already watched my videos about building squad, then you are 60% done with this point, if you haven't, watch those videos after finishing this one. Check description to find the playlist link. And for the rest 40% you need to understand the chemistry between your players, means how your player acts when it comes to real matches. For that you just need to play more matches. Once you understand how your player acts with his playstyle, then you can find the best moments and positions to perform pass towards that player on your own. The fourth and last point is, combine short and long range pass. No complications, you just need to mix up the short and long passing. This technique will help you to find free spaces, attacking areas and your opponent's playing methods. It is important to read your opponent a little bit to help your own gameplay. If you already know how your opponent will act in certain scenario, you can easily outrun that situation. So try to read your opponent's movements, passing, playing methods. But for a beginner, it is a bit tough to do that without this technique. So use combined passing and check your opponent's movements while passing in long range. Long passes will buy you some times for that. But avoid passing in long range continuously or you will be intercepted. That's the reason I'm telling you to combine passing for a better result. So I hope this video helped you to understand the basics of gameplay passing. Don't forget one thing, you are playing a game, so try to enjoy everything, have some fun and play the game to decrease stress not to increase it. If you want to learn from the start, check out this playlist.